give you a quick look at an MD roller skate while we had it out of the car. It's going to be made into a V8 and uh, if you're really familiar with Miata uh, roller skates this is going to look awfully familiar. Despite the technological advances that Mazda made with this car, the basic setup is still the same. So you can see the separate front and rear subframes, engine and transmission connected to the rear subframe with a power plant frame in the middle. Um, the exhaust is going to be down the passenger side and the intake on the driver side. So a little bit of a different setup than an NA and B chassis, but the basic design is still the same. And just for some eye candy, we've got a V8 sitting right over here. This is the one that's going to go in the car. It's a 525 variant of the LS3, so it's going to have plenty of power and a really cool hot rod lope to the to the camshaft. So as I'm talking here, if anybody's got any questions, feel free to post them and I'll do my best to, to answer them for you. So the build process is going to take about eight to ten weeks. Um, it's an awful lot of work, but in the end you basically have a car that could have come from the factory with a V8 in it. Everything is completely integrated. Most all of the electronics that came on the car from the factory still work. Um, so other than the two exhaust tips coming out the back, when it's sitting there it's still going to look like a stock Miata inside and out. But then you fire it up and everybody starts turning heads. Any questions so far? No? Well, this customer's in Ohio and uh, he's excited about his build. Um, sent the car to us very quickly and uh, it's primarily what we do here right now. Our mechanics work for our engineer doing product development for the most part. If we look over here, just real quickly, you can actually see a pretty substantial pile of parts that'll go into this car. Radiator, wheels, tires, drive shaft, exhaust, all in these nice big boxes. So that's a quick tour of the ND roller skate with the a, with a upcoming V8 installation. Um, if you've got any questions, you still post them. Um, give us a message, send us an email, um, or give us a call. Thanks for